Today I'm going to show you how to um, create different types of shapes, organic, geometric. Um, we'll do a few letters in one point perspective. So to start off, we are going to need a ruler, pencil, eraser, and paper. If you do not have a ruler, you can use the edge of your book or a notebook, anything that has a flat surface like a ruler. So first thing is drawing a horizon line. So I'm going to place my ruler across my paper and just draw a very light line across. You might not be able to see it very well, uh, but the horizon line is the separation between the sky and the ground. So now I will draw my vanishing point. Okay, so that's a good start. We're going to then do a few shapes. I'll do some shapes above the horizon line and some below. So I'm going to go ahead and just freehand this so we can get through it a little faster. But if you're taking your time, you really should use a ruler. Okay. Let's do... I'm going to do a couple crazy shapes. Some organic shapes. A circle. Oh, I know a lot of people usually ask me how to do a heart. So we will do that as well. Okay, I think that's good for now. Um, and then we'll do letters after we do all of this. Okay, so now you definitely need to use your ruler. So for each of these shapes, they're going to be the outer edge is going to be coming to the vanishing point. So, let's start with the square. That's the simplest one. I'm going to just put little dots on the little corners here of the ones that I think might make it over there. I'm not putting one on this back corner because if you line it up here, you see how it just goes through the square? Unless we were doing a box that was open, we don't need to worry about that. So, I'm going to line up the edge of my square to the vanishing point and lightly draw a line. Same thing here. And on the top one. Okay, so this is now the side of the cube and this is the bottom of the cube. It's kind of like we're looking up at it. So the next step is to close off the shape and turn it into a form. So this line here is what is going to guide us to create our parallel line. So I'm going to create a line right here to close off the shape and the rest of this can just be erased. The bottom one is tricky for people. They always want to just keep going and make it straight or they do it at an angle like this. Let me just show you what that looks like. So notice how this one is parallel to this one. This one is not parallel to this. So this one is incorrect. So it might help to use your ruler on this. I like to line it up with the edge, slide it out to that corner where I stopped here, and there we go. Okay, see that's more correct. So then when you go and erase it, you can see it a little better. Erase the extra stuff. This is why you want to draw light, so that it's easy to erase. Okay, so now we have a floating cube. Okay. Alright, so same thing with shapes like this one. See how it has all these points? So it's kind of similar to a square. So I'm going to go ahead and mark. You don't always have to mark them, but this is just good practice. See, I'm marking the outside and the inner squared, or the inner corners. Okay. Some of them you might not be able to tell if they're going to line up or not, so you sometimes just have to use your ruler and test it out. So let's line up this one. The inner corner. Okay. 
and see this one here it looks like it's actually going to line up as well so i'm going to go ahead and put it there perfect okay so this can look kind of cool if you do a drawing like this it just looks like it's kind of like shooting out at you uh but if we want to close it off it's the same idea as a square but see this i'm going to color it so you can kind of see is one section this is a different section okay and so on and so forth so each of these are different so this is the parallel line that i'm going to match so i'm going to come out here and stop there for this one same thing but i can't do it out here right because it has to line up with where i left off so i'm going to go right here so they are parallel this one needs to go right here this one here and this one here there we go go ahead and erase the extra I'll come back and erase this a little better later I'll show you okay same idea as the square just a lot more corners okay so this is where people get confused on things like this how would I turn this into like a 3d blob so instead of corners let's focus on the outer edges first so you're gonna line it up to the very outer edge this is the outer edge you see that we're not gonna do it like random like right here we don't need to do that because there's no corner so I'm just gonna come right here to there and on this one same thing okay notice how this one looks like it would actually line up as well but it would go behind so we're just gonna draw part of that line so we don't get too confused so I'm just gonna draw it to here so it looks like it's going behind that other part okay so we could also do one right here probably because it sticks out a little bit and there we go okay so instead of doing straight parallel lines it still has to match so let's do this as an example see this line right here this is one area right here I'm gonna match it like this so it's the same shape same thing here see this I'm gonna come here and match it and match it this one you might not see where it where it kind of curves but you could do a little bit there if you want Right. and that is how you can do an organic shape all right so circle is kind of the same idea you go on the very outer edge on both sides okay so one mistake I see people do is they'll kind of line it up right here right we don't want that we want it to be on the very outer edge and you only need to do the outer edges because there's no curves like this and then all you do is match the edge of the circle as far out as you want to go let's say we want this one to be kind of like a cylinder kind of long okay and that's it perfect all right last one is a heart and then we will do some lettering let's flip this okay so this one will be kind of tricky because look we have the outer edge and we have an edge here and we have a corner okay so i'm going to start on this very further little bump here making sure i'm on the edge second one and then the bottom 
of the heart, a little corner. There we go. So when you have the lines going through, see how I had to go through the shape? You don't always have to actually draw it through it. Sometimes it helps people just so that, you know, it's the routine. But you can just line it up and just draw it like to here and then stop. That way you don't have to worry about erasing inside your other forms. Okay, so this one, we have this whole edge of the heart here and we're gonna go like this. Okay, and then on this side, it's gonna match just this little curve there. And I'm gonna come like that. All right, so I went ahead and outlined the shapes that we practiced erase the converging lines, and then I just drew the letters A-R-T for art. So we can go ahead and just get into practicing those. So it's very similar to what we just did. Uh, there's just a lot more corners, kind of like this shape here. So let's start with the A. I'm going to do the outer corners and the inner corners, and even on the inside of the, that little opening in the A, and line them up. Okay, so these little inner ones might be a little more challenging. So like I said, with overlapping, um, it would just go through this. So I'm going to just draw it to there and then stop it. Okay, so closing off the shapes, like I said, is very similar to this where each plane has its own section to focus on. So this part of the A, I'm gonna come out like that and then this part I'm gonna come to here remember it has to be parallel and here here oh, that one's a little close and here so for the inside, we probably wouldn't see it closing off, so we're just gonna leave it like that. And I'm just gonna go ahead and outline it. Now I can just erase it. 